Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring an HDMI audio converter. And this is a great converter for those that have the PlayStation 5 and want to be able to stream. And you have a optical cable, or you have maybe the Astros A50s, or you have a different system. This is great for PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox X um, series and the S series. So we're going to take a look at it and see what you guys get. Now that you purchase your Xbox or your PlayStation 5, and you're a streamer you have issues um there's two options you can do you could buy the astro box or you could buy the g tech j tech version or you can buy this version the cheapest one out there i'm going to take a look at it and see what you get so pretty much they're all the same right now the earliest conversion is um 2.0 there's no 2.1 or 2.2 right now there's no box that will convert your actual audio connections into those versions but there are different differences on these two and we're going to take a look at it on and compare it to the actual astros that are physically not in my hands but they we're going to talk about it reviewing with pictures and let you guys know what you can do with this one instead of the astros um the astros about the same price you know than this this these were for twenty dollars so we're going to take a look at it and see what you get so the box is huge not just kidding it's a very small box now now we're going to put this on the side and we're going to get everything out you get the cables, the optical cables, and you get more cards, business cards, and instructions how to set it up. It tells you right here, DC V5 volt, a uh, basic phone adapter. One of these adapters will power up, but a lot of these TVs have an extra USB that has a five volt connection or anything that you could plug in direct to your computer, you could just power it up. Now, this is a, a slim USB. It's a USB, micro USB, if you could see it. And it tells you there, DC 5V in. That's pretty much where you actually put your power in. Now, HDMI in, this is where you actually power, you actually connect the actual HDMI going in. Now, this is very important because there's two different channels. There's a channel two bypass and there's a 5.1 channel. So the audio differences is between, it depends on your system. Now, before you set this up, you also have to change it on your PlayStation and your Xbox too. So in order to convert the actual audio so um people are having issues where it, they, they plug something like this but it's not working well the problem is that you have to go into the audio settings and you have to say you have to extreme um stream the audio to the actual hdmi instead of the headset so it's going to keep coming back so just make sure not only the settings here but you have to actually do it on your playstation and your xbox so that's another thing so it has the two different channels here channel two pass and then the 5.1 channel uh, um, behind it, it's basically the optical out, and this is where we're going to do a little setup, and then HDMI out. So if you are streaming, these two are very important, of course. This was an option, so it's, it's, it's we're not going to even use it on the setup. So the great thing is that they give you the audio cables, but these cables are obsolete now. I don't think a computer could even take them, but you could plug them direct to your speakers or other stuff that they're still, uh, you know, accessible. So we're going to put this on the side and maybe use it in the future, but right now we're not going to use it. Now they do give you the micro USB, power it up, and then they give you the optical cable, but it's only like a four feet of cable, not very long, but if you have one right now, currently you can use the same existing one. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into the Astros, how we're going to be streaming through the Astros uh, and then the PlayStation and we'll take a little video on the whole thing. So today we're just going to do plugging in directly to the Astros. So you have the setup here, you have your Astro box, your 850 box, and then you have your power for your Astros and then you have the optical cable. The optical cable is very important. This is where you actually come in right here. So on the optical cable is what you do is you go just plug it in directly here into this direction. You find the actual actual connection and it clicks in there and that's the optical in the system itself now this is very important all right not to bend this too much you could break it you could you could damage the system so we're going to use the actual um power adapter and this is great this is where it comes in and and this is one thing i like about the system that that the base itself is also a charging station too so we'll plug it in here there's a charging station area charge charge it in here and we're just going to plug it in directly into the micro usb here and right now there is no power as you can see there is no power whatsoever but it's a little elaborate setup and then we're going to plug this into the computer and now we plugged it into the computer itself and there is power now so you could be powering this box itself and charging it so now that we have the optical in here we're going to be able to actually plug in your your playstation goes in here 
and then from the PlayStation goes out here to the actual streaming box. So if you have a Elgato streaming box or any kind of uh, digital streaming box, you could actually connect directly to it. All right, so I got the video to work with the optical system. We're going to take a look at it. And if you guys can see, um, it's going to be moving around here. See if you guys see that. So we are in business. You see the audio moving. So I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Astros A50s, fourth generation or third generation. You could lo log it in into the PlayStation 5 using a Gato card. And we're going to take a look at it. So let's go ahead and take a look first. What did we just opened up? So first of all, I was trying to use the 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 camera as a mic, but there's no mic in this camera. Uh, horrible. But the last one did have it. Um, I heard that the uh, other one does have it, so I might change that one. So this is the box. If you guys can see it, this one goes into a PlayStation. If you guys can see it, it says HDMI in to a PlayStation. And this one, I'm giving it power, but in reality, we don't need it because it still works. So I'm going to disconnect it, for example. I'm going to disconnect it and it's still power on. And we're going to take a look at it and if it powers on. Yeah, still going. We don't need any power on it. You guys can see it. So you do not need power on here. You guys can see it. Uh, I don't know why it needs it, but I guess it's powering with the HDMI 2, which has power, which is the PlayStation. Uh, then if you guys can see back here, I got the optical cable going into the actual Astro box. And then this one is going to the TV, to the monitor that you're going to be displaying this stuff. And then you're able to stream the audio. Now to capture audio, it's going to be an issue. To capture audio, I'm going to be using, to talk to my teammates, I'm going to be using my controller as the mic. That's the only way I could get it to work. But um, I'm able to listen to the game, listen to my, my colleagues, and listen to talk to them on here. So, which is good got the mic working if you guys can see it Elgato card and if I say something here I'll pick up the mic test one two three test one two three mic mic check mic check so I got I'm using Elgato A50s to work with the PlayStation 5 got my stream deck PlayStation 5 is in here of course I had a computer in here but we're gonna move it out um, unfortunately these don't have mics which um very 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 horrible that they don't have it uh we're still missing a monitor i'm sitting on my my little area here but so far i got it to work hcmi from playstation to to tv and then optical to optical out to the headsets and got it to work but you need to change a couple of things on your PlayStation to make it work, but it's working. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know.